For some kids and teens, learning about procedures helps them cope best. In this video, you will learn what happens when you come to the hospital to have an antroduodenal motility study. We call this an AD study. The antrum is the last part of the stomach. It connects to the duodenum, which is the first part of the small intestine. Motility means how something moves. This study measures how the muscles and nerves work together to move foods from the stomach to the intestines. You will go to a special procedures room. The doctors will give you a medicine called anesthesia to put your body asleep. This is a special kind of sleep so you will not feel anything. For this study, you will need an IV. An IV is a bendy, straw-like tube used to give your body water or medicine. If you do not have an IV already, one will be placed while you are asleep. The doctor will do an EGD, which takes pictures of the inside of your body. The pictures will help the doctors place a tube down your nose. This tube is called an AD catheter and gives the motility nurses information about your body. Next you will be then taken to the recovery room where you will wake up. A nurse will listen to your heart, take your temperature, and check your blood pressure. Your mom or dad can be by your side in this room. You will then be taken to the motility center or back to your room. Your nurse will listen to your heart, check your temperature, and take your blood pressure. During the study, you have to stay in bed. You can still sit up and do art activities, play games, or watch TV. You will see a computer on wheels next to your bed. The motility nurse will connect your tubes to this computer. This is the start of the study. The motility nurse will ask you to cough to make sure the test is working. Watch the colored lines on the screen go up as you cough. For two hours, or the length of a movie, the motility nurse will watch the computer. You will be able to play quietly or sleep. If you feel like you need to go to the bathroom, your motility nurse will help you. Next, the motility nurse will give you one or two medicines through your IV. The nurse will watch the pattern on the screen to see how your muscles and nerves are working. The motility nurse will tell you when you can eat and will help you pick your meal from the menu. You need to eat this food in 20 to 30 minutes. This is about the same amount of time you have to eat your lunch at school. Near the end of the study, you will need an x-ray picture of your stomach. You do not have to leave your bed for this. Your doctor will come talk to you and your parents about the results. When the study is over, the tube will be able to come out of your nose. Some kids like to help by taking the tape off their cheek. The motility nurse will remove your tube. It comes out quick and easy and does not hurt. Some kids say it feels weird. A nurse will also remove your IV. You will then be ready to go home. Kids and teens often have questions after learning about the AD study. What questions do you have? 